Now, our next guests, Aurora Zacharias and Lorna Sullivan, are here to share their personal experiences with NPH, a charity that since 1954 has helped over 18,000 vulnerable children and families throughout Latin America. Good morning to you both. Hi, good, good morning. morning, Mel. Absolute How are you? pleasure to have you here. Uh, Lauren, let's start with you. You are the director of NPH New Zealand. Can you tell us a little bit more about the organisation and why it's so important in Latin America? Yeah, absolutely. So NPH stands for Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos, which is, you must know Mal with your Spanish. Hermanos was <laughs> mm, people? Our Men? little brothers and sisters. Little we okay, got there it. We go. And so it's a charity that helps thousands of vulnerable children and families throughout Latin America in so, nine different countries. So why is it so important? It's so important in Latin America because there is a lot of poverty there and there's no safety net especially for vulnerable kids. So often they end up on the streets or sniffing glue or r stealing just to survive yeah. or into prostitution. So because there's no government support, there needs to be organisations like NPH that help these children. OK. Now, Aurora, you've had first-hand experience uh, with NPH. Can you tell us your story? Yes. Unfortunately, I was... Uh Younger when I lost my mother, I was eight years old when my mother passed away. We didn't know that she was seriously ill because we live in extreme poverty mm -hmm. and we didn't have access to a doctor. So my dad tried to take care of us after two years when my mother passed away. But unfortunately, he lost his job and he turned to alcohol. And was by the end uh, he abandoned us and he pursued to find a job in U.S., of course, as immigrant. And we have not heard about my dad for 30 years. We Gosh. don't know if he's even alive. We didn't receive any news about him. So was by the grace of God, one of my aunts. Uh, my family couldn't take care of us because they were poor too. Mm -hmm. So. One of my aunts here about MPH family, and unfortunately, uh, we grew up in this beautiful family with uh, my brother and my sister. Wow, so how do you feel this impacted your life? Obviously, greatly. <laughs> yes, I can imagine my life without MPH because uh, uh, as being a child and lost my parents, I didn't have any opportunity to think about my future without education and live in extreme poverty, mm -hmm. probably I will work in the fields of working as, you know, in prostitution or mm. being a single mom and be, being a teenager. I don't know, I can imagine. So MPH gave me the opportunity to be a better person in the world mm. and now to be a sponsor too for my family and change uh, my life for the better. So you uh, obviously still are in touch with the family that you're with? Yes, of course. Mm. Now, I'm very proud to say that I'm a sponsor for my family, an ambassador for, uh, to give and uh, to share the message that was the MPH mission and I'm a professional adult now in, in Mexico and wow. a financial analyst. Wow. And also I started my own business and decided jewelry uh, in silver. So this is another thing that I can impact and to help another communities in Mexico. And we promote that we make in Mexico. That is so great. Um, now, Lauren, uh, as well as a safe and loving home environment, um, education, obviously extremely important for children. Can you tell us about your experiencing, uh, your experiences teaching the children at MPH? Yeah, absolutely. I spent two years as a volunteer at MPH Honduras. I was the English teacher for the kids and it was a life-changing experience for me. Uh, because you go there to be a teacher, to volunteer, but you come away as being part of the family. Mm. And I still feel connected as a family member. And, and the best thing about this family is you can see that the kids can grow through education. So we make sure our kids get vocational training or university education so that they can then get good jobs and change their lives. Mm, and be like Aurora. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It must be quite extraordinary for you, coming, especially coming from a place like New Zealand, to go to Honduras and experience what you experienced. What was the most life-changing aspect of it for you? I think it was really hard as a Kiwi to go there and to experience 
So much poverty, you know. It's you walk on the streets in the capital of Honduras, and there are kids coming up to you. There, they are so malnourished, and mm. and they some of them are addicted to drugs, sniffing glue, and they might be involved in gangs. Mm. Their families have abandoned them, and you just think, oh my gosh, what can I do to help? I want to gather them all up and help them. So, what's your the purpose of your trip here, Aurora? The, my purpose is to show. Kiwis, how important we can make an impact in the life of children. If I didn't have the opportunity to grow up in a place like MPH, mm. I will not be an adult responsible. Now is my time to give back and invite uh, as many people as possible to join us. We can make the difference in the world. That's great. So, Lauren, then, how can we make that difference? How can we help? Yeah, well, absolutely, Mel. Uh, the best way that New Zealanders can help is to sponsor a child uh, because this has a huge impact on the life of a child. You know, sometimes we feel there are so many problems in the world, where do I even start? Yeah. But just giving $40 a month can really change a child's life like Aurora. It gives them education, hope for the future. Well, exactly. And well, the proof is sitting right in front of us, isn't yeah, it? It's I don't so think lovely. I need to talk too much today because... So lovely yeah. having you both in the studio. Really, here. thank you so much both for joining us. Thank you. Uh, for thank more you so on much. NPH and how you can help, head to nphnz.org.